How's it going, everybody? We're back with another Melty Blood video. Uh, French Bridges dropped the trailer for the maids, which are pretty cool characters. Um, I like them together. They're pretty sick together. Um, but there are characters that I want, that I want in the game. Even though the roster is going to be small, uh, a young man can dream. So let's talk about three characters that I think will hopefully make it to the game. Maybe not in the base roster, but maybe as DLC. And then um, if you guys let me know what characters you want to see in the game, for sure. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So. <laughs> one, uh, it's pretty obvious it's in the thumbnail and it is nania um nania is a multiple exclusive character so he is not actually in tsukihime he's not a, a canon like lore character right um he's basically a clone of the main character uh tono shiki um this is basically an evil version of him essentially um with like a slightly or slightly different moveset, moveset, but he's just cooler. Right? In my opinion, I think he's way cooler than uh, than Shiki Tono. But I will play Shiki Tono in Melty Blood, but hopefully Nania makes it eventually. We'll see. This one doesn't seem likely, especially off the base roster, but you never know. So I wanted to show you some <clears throat> a couple clips, some combo video stuff from each character and why I think or why I want him to be in the game. So his, his combos are like just... His combos are dope. He has cool movement abilities too. He has like a fast fall as you can see here. Off of the DP. Like it, it, he has dive kicks. Like <laughs> his moveset is really dope. It, it's similar to to Tono, but like you Tono cannot do stuff like this. Like absolutely not. Like the fast fall makes this character like so much fun. Like I, I played him a little bit. He wasn't my main character, but he, I would definitely take him over over the protagonist. Like for, for a main character, he, he got the sauce. He has the drip, for sure. So, we'll do one more combo, right? So like, he got the loops off the DP, like he, he, he got it all, he, he's dope. He's pretty sick for a main character, in my opinion. I would hope I would hope they put him in the game eventually, maybe as like a as like a DLC. You know, there's a lot of clones in Melty Blood, if you didn't know. So it's not unlikely that he makes it into the game at some point. All right, next one. So I want to do this one first. Uh, this is Roa. Maybe not, okay, maybe not see Roa, um, but a, a form of Roa. So like this character is extremely powerful in, in NBA CC. Right, like top top five, pretty easily, maybe like top three, debatable. Um, but he's just a cool character in general. I think he he has like a pretty unique like tool set, especially like in a fighting game. He's a vampire that uses lightning attacks, which is kind of which is kind of wild. So yeah, we never seen him. Uh, he is extremely powerful. If you want, to, there's plenty of people that play him. Uh, the most powerful version is C Roa. But his other four, I think Full Moon's also really good. It has a lot of mix-up potential. But yeah, check check it out. Check out what man can do. Right. And he also like I like his outfit too. His outfit is just kind of mad simple, right? It's just he like like mostly multi black characters. Um, man has some pants. He got some shoes, and he has just a long dress shirt, like super long dress shirt, button up or button down. Right? Like a, he, he's, he's cool looking for sure. He has lightning attacks that he just like he shoots with like full screen. Pretty cool arc drive. That's his arc drive, by the way. He's level three, technically, or level two, excuse me. So yeah, he has like these lightning attacks that like he can do off the ground, off the air. For like extra juggle, for pressure, like he, <laughs> like he's a dope looking character. I just hope this version doesn't make it to the game because this version is ex like stupid powerful, like top tier, like easy top tier, like god tier, pretty much. But like if he had some form of this, it'd be it'd be dope because he is pretty cool. He's hard to use too. He's not a super easy character. At least the C version. I don't know about the full version, but but C C Roa is uh, C Roa is tough to use. So yeah, I definitely want him in the game. 
next my main in melty um my main when i was playing this game is c alco this is literally my favorite fighting character of all time she has almost everything you could think of in a fighting game she has overheads she has delayed overhead she has tr um triple jump double air dash she has a dp she has mix up she has an air beam she has an unblockable like she has everything she's really good too she's not top tier she's not like not got tier but she is top tier though she's really good um she has fast buttons like she has a standing low she is super she doesn't have a command throw though that's like probably the one thing she doesn't have is a command throw but like she is she's dope man i really really hope they put her in the game it, it seems likely to like out of all the characters she seems, seems like she'll be in the game first um since she is lore um ro is also lore but she's also in the trailer for the remake of the of the story of Tsukiyime. so her getting into the game is pretty likely but uh, we have to wait and see and she has one of the coolest bmbs i've ever seen in a fighting game too like this combo is like for a BMB is dope as fuck. So this right here, right? So this is like a, a mix of potential, right? She charges the super. And then this part, her special move is an unblockable, like pseudo unblockable. You can do things in the game to prevent it. Um, but this setup itself is unblockable. The beam itself you cannot block if it, if she charges it to full. It's like a corner version of her BMB. She's like, and, and she is the drip the dripless character, quote unquote, <laughs> the dripless one. Unfortunately, I couldn't find like a, a combo combo video. This is just like some of her basic combos, but like. The stuff that she does in game, man, she is she is dope. She's dope. She has orbs too. I don't know if they show the orbs at all uh, in this video. I don't think so. I think it's just uh, some basic combos. Um, yeah, she also has an easier version. Hopefully, they do put her in the game. Not the easier version because the easier version is actually dripless. Um, even though I would play her too, but the the C version, the Crescent Moon version of Alco, is the version I want in the game. Um. And it seems like they've been going a lot with their Crescent versions in TL. But uh, we have to wait and see. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what characters you guys want to see in Multiple Type Lumina. And uh, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> How can I remember the moment, sweetheart? I'm sorry. Tell me.